Hello everyone. In this video I will show how to set up and install all the dependencies needed by uh, this template. So first I downloaded the files of the template and unzipped the, unzipped the files. Now I open I open my my terminal or your console and I navigated to the path of that project. So now the first step will be to run npm install to install all the dependencies needed by the project. This means Angular, Ionic, and Capacitor, and all the related dependencies needed by, by our application. This can take a few minutes. Well, that's all. Now I will open the code on my code editor. I use Atom, but you can use the one you prefer. So as you can see, the node modules folder is here. So everything uh, that is defined under dependencies and dev dependencies is installed. So now we can run, let me organize this. Okay, now if you run Ionic Serve, the project, the application should open in a, in a browser in order to be able to run Ionic Serve. Previously, I installed the Ionic CLI you can find how to do it in our in the documentation of our template. So this is the application. If you want to preview it with a with a mobile um, resolution, mobile screen, because this is a mobile app, you can do what I, uh, what I did. It's it was like opening the browser uh, device emulator. Here you can change if you want an iOS or Android device. So this is the application. You can play with it here. Excellent. So now I want to show you how we can build this app for iOS. So I will pause this and I will run. OK, let me go. You see that we have the iOS folder and the Android folder. These are the, the iOS and Android native apps generated by Capacitor. In the readme, you can find um, the Capacitor documentation links. So if we go to this link, here it explains how to develop your web app. We have another video explaining this more in detail. But basically, we have to run Ionic build first in order to build the application, all the assets of the application. That's explained here. Develop and build your web app. So this project already has as I showed you, the iOS and Android uh, projects, so we don't need to re-add them. If you are, if you were building an application from scratch, you will have to run npx add iOS and Android. That is explained here. But in our case, we will just run the Ionic build. Now we will run npx cap sync in order to sync synchronize sorry all the all the assets and install all the plugins into the native projects cool now to run the project we can just run npx cap run and if you want to run it for iOS you can type here iOS, or if you want to run it for Android, you type Android. So 
So here it asks if we want to use the, the this one. The first one is my iPhone, which is plugged into my computer. So I could use this one and the application will open on my device. Or I could select, select a simulator. I will use this one. And now, if we want to open our project in Xcode, we can type npx cap open iOS. This will open the project in Xcode and we can play the app from here. We can put it in, install it in our device or in any simulator like we did before. I will install it in my iPhone. So you can see it from here, but the app is running on my device. <laughs> and we can also open the project in Android Studio. To do this, we need to run mpx cap open Android. And we can run the project from here by selecting the emulator, or if you have an Android device plugged into your computer, it will show up in this list. So you hit play, and the project will open in our emulator. We have it here. I will hit again stop and play so you can see how it gets opened. That's it. This is our app. And also you can run it from the console by running npx cap sorry cap run Android. These are different ways as you can see of running the same app. Uh, one is without opening I mean, Capacitor provides us with the possibility of running the app in the emulator without opening the, the specific tool, such as Android Studio or Xcode. It's up to you what you prefer. So here is the app. And that's all. This is all about how to open, how to, in this video we explain from the ground up, how to unzip the project and install all the dependencies, run the project in the browser, and then building the native platforms, iOS and Android, and how to run them in a simulator or in your device. Hope this video was useful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. Everything is welcome. Bye.